Halliburton here. And this is a back bay off the main lake. You can see over there there's a bridge that comes in and it's just a bay. It's sandy around the edges and rocky and it comes out to about 25-30 feet out in the middle here. So what we're going to do today, I've got one of these uh, Strike King, I guess what are they called? Rage Tails. It's the uh, it's basically like a Senko but it's got a little squiggly tail on it and I got it rigged with a hook and a weight. We're going to pitch it out and just let her drop down to the bottom and see what we can come up with here. It's pretty wild out here this time of year. It's about mid-October, mid late October. I found a day that was going to be nice, calm. Look at the colors. All we need is some bass now. They're out a little deeper. They're they're kind of off the uh, off the ledge here in different spots. You can see them jumping in different places, but we should be able to wrestle up some decent sized ones out. And it works. Look at this freaking beast down here. The water's so clear too. I don't know if this camera's angled right. See him? Drop her down and jig her. And look at that. Now that's a smallie. Nice big monster. And net this guy for a picture later. Oh yeah. It's got to be four or five pounds. Oh yeah. Come on. Nice. Now that beast. Oh yeah. Now that's a fish. Throw them in there with the other one. Got another one earlier here. Not bad. Just off the shore, just drop her down. It's right, right where it drops. It's about 25 feet right off the, right off the shore, and I just let her fall. And here we go with another one. Fat in this lake. Oh yeah, there's a jump. Look at that. The water's just crystal clear up here. Look at the size of this guy. Nice. He doesn't want to come in. Yes. Oh yeah. And this guy was in about 13 feet, so maybe the day's warming up. They're getting a little shallower. You need a net for the fucking fish in this lake. Come on. Woo. Another monster. I should weigh these. That looks like it's got to be four or five pounds. Nice. Big smallie. But yeah, they've uh, I found this bay. It's it's hard. The hardest part is trying to figure out where fish are. If you find the fish, then the second hardest part is trying to figure out how to get them to bite. 57 degree water today. It's cold. Obviously, they're down deep, 20 to 25 feet, and they're scattered around. But they seem to be in this bay, which is an enclosed spot, so it's easier for me to work with. There's a uh, Sort of a creek that comes in one end of it but yeah i cast this out let it fall to the bottom and i mean the results are pretty i'm pretty fantastic in here i'm gonna get these guys out so they can get them back but this is the kind of stuff look at that beast that's uh what is that 19 and a half inch fish Probably about four or five pounds. <laughs> a lot of fun. But yeah, that's what you'll come up with. 20 to 25 feet. Literally, you drop it in and as soon as it hit bottom, this guy was on it. And let him go. Beautiful fish up here. I like the stripes on them. I mean, here's another one. 
I caught earlier on. A little bit smaller, but exact same idea. 20, 25 feet. This guy's probably maybe two and a half pounds. A lot smaller, but still good fight. A lot of energy these guys have. But uh, yeah, and it's just patience, eh? It's probably a hot friggin' 50 casts. Sometimes you'll hit a couple in a spot, but they do tend to school. But like the bigger ones like that, he was randomly on the opposite shore, just off the shore. And patience. Just keep, uh, keep working along. If you do find an area where you get a couple, there's probably a bunch there, so maybe work that area for a little while, but don't, I just move on. There's, there's no point. They could be anywhere in a lake like this. But the depth is pretty consistent. That's, I guess it's temperature based. They go to wherever they like, and uh, that's what's working for me for now. A lot of fun. I'm gonna get back at her. Yeah, here we go again. Oh, this guy was snagged for a minute. I love the clear water here, how you can see the fish coming up when he comes up. They always rise. They're always in about the same depth. Oh, this one looks pretty big. He's fighting. Holy shit. Uh, how do I... Take... Look at this guy. Holy shit. I cannot get over the size of the fish in this frickin' lake. That's the third one on a point. If you look across here, you can see a point right in front of us, another one over there, and there's another one behind that. They're sitting just inside of it though. They're not right out. Oh, Jesus Christ, this guy's gotta be five or six pounds. Holy shit. Look at this thing. That's a frickin' tank for a smallmouth. I almost dropped my rod out of the boat. Ugh. Unbelievable. Unbelievable the size of these things. Come on, buddy. How far in is that? Eh, uh, he better not have swallowed it. Before. Look at the size of that. Like that's like 22 inches long or something. Unreal. I gotta turn this off so I can get this hooked. What a day. This lake blows me away. Way too easy. Like, you've already seen a few that I've thrown back. <laughs> thrown back. I literally just caught my biggest, biggest one yet. Um, yeah, it's pretty wild. I mean, the key around here is finding a lake that's got fish like this, but I mean, this is amazing. And everything I've caught today is a tank. Like, look at these fish. Look at the size of these guys. This one here, I gotta weigh this. This thing's gotta be five pounds. For a smallmouth, that's the size of a largemouth, for crying out loud. What? I gotta rename myself. I'm grumpy as long as I'm not fishing. And then this guy here, smallest of the bunch, I'll throw him back too. I didn't make a lot of videos this summer. I did do a lot of fishing. Uh, one of the fish I caught, my biggest, well, my biggest muskie I've caught so far this summer, a couple weeks ago, up near Sudbury. But uh, this will probably wrap it up for this year. It is the end of October, like I said. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of pictures on my Instagram of pretty much everything I've ever caught. Yeah, look at that. I think that's a baby compared to the other two. Still a lot of fun. Anyway, next summer hopefully I'm going to get a little bit more back into the videos and everything. I don't know, unless I do an ice fishing video or something, but I know it's not boring. Unless you drink a lot of beer or something. But anyway, later.